Okay, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Who knows what mourning is? It's when you let go. No, not that morning. Blessed are those who mourn. In other words, those who have something to cry about. All right. I want you. Yes, you. I want you back here. Grab one of those shirts back there. Who has number five? Read it out loud. Meek. Does anybody know what meek means? Somebody who's meek is somebody who's kind of timid. Do you know what timid means? Do you know what shy means? Okay. So a meek person is somebody that, you know, they don't they don't want to offend people. They they kind of go along. So it's, they'll inherit the earth. Okay, three, four, five. Who has number six? Oh. Read it out, real loud. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after right, right, righteousness. Right, righteousness, for they shall be filled. Pay attention. All right. Righteousness, does anybody know what that means? Yeah. Righteousness. Okay, so when you are righteous, that means you do the right things. That means you that means you follow God. Alright, who's got number seven? Number seven. No, you don't have number seven. But that's a good number seven. I like that. Who's got number seven under real loud? Let's go to merciful for they shall Everyone, please sit up in your chairs the right way. Number eight. I need number eight. Raina, real loud. Okay, Raina, give, give it to me real loud. You got number eight? He does. out. Okay, Dominic, let her be. Let me see. Pure. Very good. Good job. Shall? They shall see God. Okay, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Number nine. Who's got number nine? Real loud. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God.
and speak evil. Okay, and number 12, last one, number 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecute the prophets who were before you. Now this is kind of a strange thing. <clears throat> Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, who who likes being poor? Does anybody like being poor? No. Nobody likes being poor. Oh, let me let me ask you this. If you had your choice between being rich or being poor, what would you choose? Rich. Me too. Me too. No, like poor. I like poor. You rich. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have money. Somebody I once said, I have been rich and I have been poor. Rich is better. Yeah. I'll agree with that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Please. Come here, sweetheart. I need you to sit up here, sweetie, because hitting people is not allowed in our class, okay? Okay? That's not allowed. God says, even if you are poor, you are blessed. You know why? Because God will provide for you. God will provide. That's how God works. He makes sure that you have what you need. Now, those who mourn, those shall be comforted. I don't like to mourn. <clears throat> Not long ago, I lost my dad. My dad got old and he died. And that was a very, that was a very uh, uh, sad time. But God says, even when you mourn, even when you're, even when you're crying, you are still blessed. I'm going to scoop over to that one. Estrella, let's move you right there, okay? That way you're not crowding Elise. That way you got your chair and Elise has her chair, okay? There you go. Now Elise, you got your chair. So even though you may be sad, and listen, some people say that if you follow God, you're going to be happy all the time. I wish that were true. I have had lots of sadness. I have had lots of times of being sad. And it's okay to be sad. But God says, I will take care of you even in your worst times. I will take care of you. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit your... Now, if you listen to people, they'll say... Be Jordan, I'm talking, you're not. Got it? They say... Estrella, sweetheart, come up here. You gotta watch me. You gotta listen to me, okay? Now, the, the world tells you, you gotta be bold. You gotta be strong. You gotta be the lion. You take everything that you can. God says, no. God says, if you are meek, that is, you're humble. That means you're not, you're not, uh, out there trying to domineer everybody. You're not trying to be, be the king over everybody. You see, we only have one king. That king is Jesus. Mm -mm. King Jamie? Jesus. No. We don't have to be the dominant force. We don't have to be the strong guy. We don't have to be the strong girl. It's okay. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. God is with you. And he said that you will inherit the earth. So don't feel like you got to get yours. Because God will make sure that you get what you need. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Who likes to see injustice done? Who likes to see people taken advantage of? Nobody, right? I hope so. We like to see everybody treated fairly, right? That's... God put that in our hearts. Righteousness pleases God. And those who want the things that please God, they will be filled. God will make sure that you get. When you set your mind that you want the things that God wants, He'll make sure you get them. Merciful. What, is, what does it mean to show mercy? What does it mean to show mercy? What do you think, Raina?
Okay. All right, Eric, come here. I'm a big guy. Eric's a pretty big guy, but he's not as big as me, right? And you see, if any time I wanted to. Here's the thing though, it pleases God. Now, I don't have to let Eric go. I'm strong enough, I'm, I'm bigger than Eric, and I can keep Eric right here for as long as I want him to. But I'm going to let him go. <laughs> Now, that's called showing mercy. Showing mercy is when you've got something on somebody, when you got something on somebody, and you choose not to. See, I could take Matthias anytime I wanted to, right? Because I'm bigger than he is, right? But I choose not to because I'm merciful. God is pleased when we show mercy to each other. Instead of the, instead of going for the kill, we show mercy we let him up. That pleases God and he says that if we show mercy, we will get mercy. Blessed are the pure. What does pure mean? Somebody tell me what pure means. Full of good? To see God. Well, uh, that does, that's not what pure means, though. Pure means full of good? All right, I think Matthias got a real close answer there. It means full of good. Pure Pure means there's nothing nothing bad. There's uh, there's no, no impurities. Yeah, there's... Like, for example, you ever drink... You ever go get a drink of water? Yeah. And you go to drink the water and you see there's a fly in your water? Right? Are you going to drink that water, William? No! Not, not unless you're really hungry. He would too. Nobody is going to drink a glass of water with a fly in it. Let's go ahead and cut that. 
All right, I want everybody to bow your heads. We're in a time of prayer. Father, the things that you are pleased with are the things that the earth tells us we shouldn't do. That they tell us to do something different. But Lord, we want to follow what you want. We want to follow the things that please you. Lord, I ask you to help us to be peacemakers. I ask you to help us that when people make fun of us, that we consider ourselves blessed, even when people make fun of us and try to make trouble for us. Because we know that if we endure it patiently, that you will be pleased. And I ask you to help each of us be that way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.